What Will People Say? 2015 is a novel penned by Rihanna Rosso, a South African author and journalist. The story unfolds in 1986 within the Cape Flats district of Cape Town, South Africa, which serves as Rosso's hometown. Against the backdrop of apartheid, a system characterized by enforced segregation and racism, the book interlaces the lives of numerous individuals grappling with poverty. The title derives from the parental fear of their children succumbing to a life of crime. In 2017, Rosso released a spiritual sequel titled New Times, set in 1995 during the early days of the post-apartheid era. While encompassing a diverse array of characters, the narrative chiefly revolves around Neville and Magda Faree. Residing in Hanover Park, a neighborhood situated at the heart of the infamously crime-ridden Cape Flats, Neville and Magda navigate life with their three children. Magda, employed as a manager at a clothing factory, heavily relies on her church community to shield her children from immoral influences. Neville, working as a bike messenger for a local law firm, endeavors to safeguard his family and community by participating in a neighborhood night watch, a perilous occupation given the rampant crime in Hanover Park. Rosso sheds light on the cultural vibrancy of the Cape Flats area while unflinchingly depicting the daunting realities of gang violence and the prevailing desperation in the district. In Hanover Park, barricades formed by burning tire walls are erected at specific points along its perimeter to shield residents from the worst atrocities in the surrounding area. The Faree family comprises three children, Suzette, Nikki, and Anthony. Suzette, the eldest at 18 years old, possesses striking beauty and harbors aspirations of utilizing it to escape Cape Flats and secure a better life by marrying a wealthy husband. On the other hand, the introverted and contemplative middle child, 16-year-old Nikki, seeks a similar path to a brighter future but through her intellect rather than her appearance. Ultimately, the 13-year-old Anthony nurtures grand ambitions of accumulating immense wealth, convinced that the only path to achieving it is by aligning himself with local gang leaders. As the Faree family grapples with their individual struggles, their neighborhood becomes engulfed in a violent turf war between two rival gangs, the JFK and the Americans. Meanwhile, political unrest sweeps through the town, sparked by the government's refusal to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the Soweto Uprising, a significant protest staged by black high school students in 1976 against the imposition of Afrikaans as the language of instruction, seen as a symbol of white oppression. Among the array of characters, there is Auntie Moira, a seductive neighbor sporting a Princess Diana-inspired haircut that was immensely popular during that era. Adding further complexity to Magda's unwavering belief in the church as a haven of personal integrity amid the chaos of Cape Flats is Pastor Williams, a preacher with dubious ethics. As the story unfolds, Nikki becomes increasingly engrossed in student-led political demonstrations related to the Soweto uprising anniversary, causing her to neglect her studies. Her involvement intensifies upon entering a relationship with Kevin, a young political activist. In contrast, Anthony finds solace in the allure of gangs, which provide him with a false sense of security. Over time, he becomes fully immersed in their lifestyle, ultimately embracing his initiation as a member. In the end, Suzette stands as the sole Faree to escape the clutches of Hanover Park, leveraging her attractiveness to capture the attention of wealthy men, albeit at the cost of secretly quitting school just four months before her final exams. While there remains a glimmer of hope for Nikki to rise above the slums, the narrative suggests that Anthony has irrevocably committed himself to the gang lifestyle. What will people say? paints a tragic yet vivid picture of despair in the midst of a tumultuous and exasperating era of the 20th century. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.